here's what's going to happen. I'm going to read this, and you're going to listen, and you're going to stay on the line, and you're not going to interrupt, you're not going to speak for any reason. Some of this you know. I'm going to start at the top of the page. Meticulous? Yes. Methodical. Educated. They were these things. Nothing extreme. Like anyone, they varied. There were days of mistakes, and laziness, and infighting. And there were days, good days, when by anyone's judgment, they would have to be considered clever. No one would say that what they were doing was complicated. It wouldn't even be considered new, except for maybe in the geological sense. They took from their surroundings what was needed and made of it something more. There he is. I've been calling you all morning. Where'd you call? Your work and yourself. I'm not there. Really? March Madness? That's Carolina, Michigan. Who's up? I don't even know what. You have anything important to work today? I hope you're not implying that any day is unimportant at Cortex Semi. No, no, just dumb. Look, I was gonna come give you this big speech about how we've been friends for a long time and built up trust and that whole big thing. But how about this instead? If you ditch work this afternoon, and promise to do the few small things that I ask you, I will in return show you the most important thing that any living organism has ever witnessed. You're still trying to put it all together in a way that makes sense. You got it. No, no, I don't. Look, I just want you to understand that what's next is not a prank, okay? I wouldn't do that to you, and, and I'm not doing that to you. So when you see this, bring one with you. Can't yell or, or make any noise or run anywhere, okay? I know, I know you probably feel like you're being tricked or made fun of, but you're not, okay? I promise you, you're not, okay? Who's that, eh? So I got to the storage room at about 3.15 and cut off the power of the box. It cycled down to a tolerable level at about 3.19. See, the trick is to get in after it reaches a comfortable level, but before it shuts off completely. There's, there's a window there. In Russellfield, I got a hotel room and tried to Isolate myself. Wait, what do you mean, isolate? I mean, I closed the windows, I unplugged everything in the room, the telephone, TV, clock, radio, everything. I didn't want to take the chance of, of running into someone I knew or, or seeing something on the news that might... If we're, if we're dealing with causality, and I, I don't even know for sure, I just... Yeah, what? Yeah. Took myself out of the equation. Hey, whoa, come here for a second, man. What's on your hand? Are you bleeding? Oh, it is blood. You're turning around. You see it? Where's it coming there? from? It's your nose. Come here. Aaron, it's you. Oh, what is this? Oh, gosh, it's on your ear. Your ear's bleeding. Man. Oh, give me that. I got it. Is that normal? This isn't normal. For the machine? No, for people. What, you think it's the machine? I, I got it. That's Mr. Uh, that's Mr. Granger. That's Thomas. He's sitting in that car. I'm almost positive this afternoon he was clean shaven. In fact, I know he was. He was ready to go to some function with his wife. He looks like he's got like a two or three day growth now. Boy. Wait, are you sure? No, I'm not sure, but I think so. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Come here. What happened? Oh, 
Okay, I slipped. Now I have repaid any debt I may have owed you. You know all that I know. My voice is the only proof that you will have of the truth of any of this. I might have written a letter with my signature, but my handwriting is not what it used to be. Maybe you've had the presence of mind to record this. That's your prerogative. You will not be contacted by me again. Good morning. Every half meter, placez les chaque demi mètre everywhere, partout, everywhere. And if you look, partout, you will not find me.